no, Pokemon music. He's actually goddamn big year old. You wanna come and grab a chair? Alright, getting right into this. Too scary, hot off a win against Nadia. This is definitely gonna be a challenge, but you know hot, hot off a win against BZ. So. Can't really. Uh, I was talking to Vito before the match started, and he said that he had a greater chance of beating Gary than he did uh, Nadia. Really, that's true. I would, I would probably agree with that. Nadia plays extremely consistently against most every character and seems to have a pretty dire weakness to the snake. Kind of like how I have a dire weakness to my love of my life, Spiky Mike. This is HD Mike Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So take it at the end of this. Thank you. You see these percents start to stack up, and this is where Too Scary makes a name for himself. Is these incredible and difficult leads that he can accrue that you can just not really scale back at all. And I, I think Vito is also someone that's really good at that. I watched set against, uh, what was it against? Corvo. Yeah, Corvo, where you just, that was a grueling set where both of them just took these leads that took multiple minutes to try and come back from. Good jab up till. He just got to grab. He's going to take the trade. Pretty good considering the percent difference here, but when you look at the fact that Vito's a stock down, it does make it a little more challenging to get behind. Then Nikita's just going to find him at the end there. Rebel's Guard just ripped a little too early there, unfortunately. Good tech. A jump back are not quite going to take it, and it won't break Cypher, I don't think. Arsene's Yeah, just about any, any aerial is going to kill here, even without Arsene. So, honestly, not really when you want to see it, but you got to get the kill regardless, so. Oh, and looking at 92, this is... He on the verge of getting three stocked here, unfortunately. That grab should kill on down. Oh, Snake is so heavy, it's ridiculous. Oh, and now this is this is where Noah does his thing. He sets up shop, and yeah, the grenade into up air. Going to be a game one three stock. Pretty dominant performance. It's insane. Can, I, can anyone believe it? I can't. He didn't really say he knew the snake matchup perfectly, like the back of his hand. Well, I mean, people can say that. It's, there's a difference between playing against my snake and playing against Too Scary Snake, right? Like, it's, you know, so much experience with just about every top character that the game has to offer. Too Scary has quite a quell of knowledge, even since a few months before quarantine, he was just grinding, learning so much, and studying so much, it's insane. Not to say that Vito hasn't been grinding, you, get, you know, we went from a, from a top 16 guy to a top 8 guy so quickly, now we're seeing him in top 4, like, this is really great. Yeah, he knocked me out of bracket last time I was around here. I think, um, I think Keenan's really gonna do better on these smaller stages because um, when Snake has space, he can just set up shot. That's and, true. Uh, when you can close the gap way easier with the smaller stage, it'll be way easier to get your combos out. Yeah, and uh, I, I do worry a little bit for Vito uh, when it comes to these triplats because Too Scary likes to do this thing where I'll put a C4 and two grenades or a C4 and a grenade on the plat and the grenade on the ground and you just can't approach the plat at all and he can sit right here or he can run at you. There's not a whole lot you can do. However, this first stock is looking very much in Vito's favor. He's got to take it quickly, though. That's kind of the one thing. Doesn't remember that the C4 is at the top line, unfortunately. Costing his first stock. However, if you can just convert right here, he'll be doing better than he was the first game. Good movement there. Only taking a little 10 from that weak hit of the last grenade there. Forward throw, maybe? Forward throw. I'm gonna put him way off, but I'm not gonna kill, unfortunately. Yeah, and that's the thing about Snake. Snake it just gets so high that Joker can't even reach, no matter how hard they try. Down, gonna catch a little bit of it. Grenades out, jumps over it. Good. Big Nair. Oh, Big Nair off stage. 
catches Gary. Now let's see if Keenan can close his gap. Nikita coming out here. Good stuff by uh, Vito to just up there and flank with it and then get it out of commission. And again, that C4 recognition not quite there for Vito. And that's the thing, I was talking about this with, uh, with Tony. On Yoshi's story, you can always see this C4 no matter where it is. Battlefield though, after uh, after a little bit of time, it starts to blend in. I think that kind of has bit Vito twice now. I mean, there's a, like a multitude of reasons that you'd pick Yoshi as a snake or, or as Joker, but it is kind of anti-snake in my opinion. Yeah, that's, that's game two, pretty heftily in the favor of Too Scary. You're gonna need a miracle. You will, yeah. I mean, again, the, the experience is there. Everything is there. Everything is looking in the favor of uh, of too scary, and especially to go from Nadia, who's been like, you know, so consistently top four since like 2018. You know, four years later, here we are. Oh, and we actually see the wolf from Vito. That reflector is going to play big part. Yeah. 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 That's not cool, being racist. No, I, uh, he's just a joke. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Definitely looking a bit more in favor for Keen in this game, just based off what's been going on. I think the switch up in momentum uh, may help him a little bit. Well, yeah, when we came, when we came back from quarantine, we saw just about everyone who was in um, top 10 lose to Too Scary, including Pink Bombo 91, including Nadia quite a few times now. Uh, and the only person who didn't lose was BZ's Wolf and Scubs. Scubs is a whole different kind of player and doesn't lose to anyone. But BZ didn't lose despite not being like consistently number two. He oh, just haunt. He has uh, a lot of experience in the matchup. It was a great call out from Vito there to get that. I think this is a very doable matchup uh, for for Wolf. You have a reflector. You have these like hard punishes that start on fat hitting, hard hitting aerials. You just have to be able to hit that spacing on like those jump in fares, those fadeaway nares, and important stuff. And by playing Joker, you already need really good spacing, so I think that it's going to help out with Keenan yeah, a lot. Yeah, true. Yeah, good empty hop into F-Tilt there. That's a, just kind of wolf bread and butter mix-up, and it, and it works really well. Quite a, quite a lead here we got for Too Scary, actually. Wolf is definitely not a... I'd say if there's one character that Nadia doesn't handle well, it's Snake. If there's one handle, one character that Too Scary doesn't handle well, it's Wolf. So yeah, I think this is this was a good choice, a smart choice. And the wolf definitely doesn't look under-experienced or even under-warm. Oh, and that, that C4, I'm pretty sure, right on the corner. This wolf came like, ready. Yeah. Like, 100%, I agree. Oh, Nick gets the, reads the neutral get up, just doesn't quite get the timing right. And I saw actually Vito and BZ were chatting before the set, so maybe this is something they might have discussed. Yeah, because based on how the score is looking right now, I would not be surprised if there was a little BZ counseling. That fair not going to kill, and now he's just going to go high. Uh, rolls in against that F-Tilt. That's a too scary classic, and it just works so well. That Flash does get him to ledge safely, though. Can't complain. Good shield from Vito there. Because that wider splash of the explosion usually will not damage his shield. Yeah, and now I feel like he's. I feel like Vito's going to opt to flash more. Just because that the little itty bit of startup on Wolf Upbe, just dead. allows yeah. Nikita to get there, right? You know, yeah. it's dead even now. It's just gonna rely on who can get this better punish at zero. Usually, uh, Too Scary is gonna worry about nickel and diming about two hits at a time, whereas Wolf wants to go for four or five, tech chasing and just working and working and working. Because yeah, we keep resetting to neutral here, but if Wolf gets a hit, they don't ever want to reset to neutral again. Ooh. That cipher's gonna hit him. 
Yeah, I just put him in only cover roll there. Jab and a back air. Yeah. Down for flash? Oh no, he held oh. down. Don't don't flash, don't flash. Oh. It was a joke, it was a meme. Oh, actually good good recognition there, keeping it safe, but also keeping it option uh, the option open there. Good roll away. He was that was the only place on the stage that he did not completely cover. But that C4 is just barely gonna reach him. It's gonna be 3-0. That, that C4 hitbox. Yeah. yeah. Respect for going wolf though. That that definitely worked out in some degree. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so either. 